time for the word. Hello again, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Motivational Wednesday. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you're new to my channel, my name is Samantha. Welcome. So as you can see, the title of this morning's video is No One Will Take Your Crown, How David Became King of Israel. I will be reading this morning from 1 Samuel chapter 16 and I will stop at verse 13. Let's read this morning, beautiful people. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill thine horn with oil, and go, I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. So beautiful people, Saul was king of Israel at the time, but Saul disobeyed, disobeyed God and God told Samuel to go to Jesse's house and anoint one of Jesse's son, sons to be the new king of Israel. And so Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, take an heifer with thee and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. So Samuel was like, how can I go? If Saul heard that I was going to anoint a new king over him, he will kill me. So God said, don't say you, you are come to anoint a new king of it, for Israel. Just say that you are come to sacrifice to the Lord. Because Saul wasn't one to play with back in the day, beautiful people. And he was a proud king. And call Jesse to, the, Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show thee what thou shalt do, and thou shalt anoint unto me him whom name unto thee. Whom I name unto thee, sorry. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and said, Comest, comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. So he, he told them the same thing the Lord said, beautiful people. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come. These are Jesse's sons, beautiful people. That he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth, seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance we look at the hair we look at the skin color we look at the height you know that is how we judge people by the book by the book for the lord seeth not as man seeth for man looketh on the outward appearance but the lord looketh on the heart god judges us by our hearts beautiful people then jesse called abina abinadab and made him pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. The Lord has not chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by, and he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. The Lord did not choose Shammah, beautiful people. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord hath not chosen these. Mm -mm. The Lord has not chosen any of these, Jesse. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? Because I am come to do a job, and God is not a man that he should lie. So if God has not chosen any of these seven, there must be another one. 
And Samuel and Samuel said unto Jesse, Hear hear all her ear hear all thy children. And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him. For we will not sit down till he come hither, O Lord of mercy. And he sent and brought him in. Who is he? My favorite bad, bad boy of the Old Testament. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and with all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. From that day forward, so Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. So beautiful people, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel's job was done when he anointed David to be the new king of Israel. But what does God want us to learn from this, from David's story this morning? What is God saying to us through this, through this story? God is saying to us, beautiful people, that no one will get your position. No one will take your crown, your crown that God has ordained for you. They will dress up for your crown or your position. In the case of Mr. King David, his brothers paraded in, before Samuel to be crowned, to take his crown. But God said, I have chosen none of these. So they will interview for your position, for your crown, and they will not get it. They will audition for your crown for your crown, beautiful people, and they will not get it. They will even clown themselves, beautiful people, for your crown, and they will not get it. Why? Because the oil is prepared for your head. God said the crown is yours, and no one will ever take your crown. The position is yours. Whatever it is this morning that you are waiting on God for, that special job, whatever it is, it belongs to you. No one will take it from you this morning. No one will take your position. No one will take your crown that God has ordained for you. And that is my motivation for today's motivational wednesday thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing i will have daily devotion on friday hope i'll see you then thank you all for